Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jackie, and welcome back to this week's video. So, for this week, I have a very exciting one for both you guys and for me. I'm actually going to be attempting to recreate the iconic golden pearl necklace from Harry Styles' golden music video that was just released this week. I've seen people recreate this all over TikTok, and I was like, you know what? We're gonna take this to my own hands and try to recreate it myself, especially because the actual necklace that he uses is at a price that I simply cannot afford. So, we're gonna make that under $15 today, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me on the process because I personally am not the best at arts and crafts. Hopefully we get to see me achieve something in that realm. So with my supplies here, let's just go ahead and jump right into this next video. So just to give a photo reference of what we're trying to recreate today, I'm going to insert that right here real quick just so that you guys have a better idea of what we're trying to aim at. So I've got a couple of supplies here, obviously, to put the necklace together. The first thing we're going to need is this elastic string here. I bought this all from Michaels, so it's all super accessible and pretty cheap, to be honest. I feel like this was around six bucks or something. I don't know. I'm going to link everything down below in case you want to check it out yourself. But I've got this elastic string. Never worked with this. I've honestly never even made a DIY necklace or bracelet. And then we're going to need a bunch of beading to actually make the necklace look complete So the first type of beads that I've got here is actually just letter beads These are just some alphabet beads And then I realized that we're going to be needing two different types of pearl beads The first ones are just this simple pack of tiny beads I got the smallest type of pearl bead possible And then the other pair of beads that I got are just these bigger ones I feel like these really truly resembled what the actual necklace has And I feel like these are really nice and pretty And are going to go super well on our necklace this is also a huge pack and i got it when they were having like a 40 percent off strung beads sale so i was like heck yeah this is like three something bucks and then lastly just a pair of scissors just to cut the elastic you know so with my 15 dollar supplies let's go ahead and just try to recreate this necklace okay so the first thing i'm going to do is just open this package here of elastic that's what it looks like. It's just a little wheel. Honestly, it looks like a tape wheel or something. So we've got this. And I'm just going to open up the other packaging. Okay, we've got the pack here. I'm just going to set that on the side. These beads, I feel like, could go all over the place if I do something wrong. So I'm trying to slowly undo them. And I'm going to leave them in this, like, plastic packaging just so that they don't roll around everywhere. There we go. Oh, my God. One already rolled out. So we've got my little tray of beads all here. And then I think these longer ones, I'm just going to cut off as I need them, sort of. I want to see how long I need to make this elastic. It also needs to be big enough to go over my head because I don't have any like clasps or anything. So I'm just going to tie it. Okay, so we're done with the elastic. And this is about how long I made mine. And I'm not going to be using all of it, but just so that I can tie a knot and like have enough elastic to go off of. I think the first thing I'm going to be doing is try to string along the word golden. So starting off, with the tiniest little pearl bead. I don't even know if you guys can see it. It's like squished between my fingers. I'm going to like thread that in and then I'm going to start spelling out the word golden with my letters. Maybe I should actually look for the letters first to make it easier. Okay, so we've got our little letters to spell out golden. So I'm going to start off with the G and we're going to just make my way down the necklace. This work like if it's like this. Let me look in a mirror. <laughs> okay, I looked at it visually and I think actually should be going this way. I think if I just would have kept going, I would have messed up. So we're gonna thread it in through the left. So I'm going to go ahead and just thread this through like the picture basically shows. All you need to do is just do a little bead in between each letter. So while I'm doing this, I'm actually gonna be answering a question. I actually found these online because honestly, I'm not really relevant enough to do a formal Q and A yet. Honestly, I feel like most of the people that follow me on Instagram are from my high school or like new people that I followed from the university that I go to. So I don't really think they would ask questions. I don't know. If you guys would ever want a formal Q&A in the future, let me know. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and just answer questions that I've seen online. So the first question just asks, what are your hobbies and how did you get into them? So obviously, as you can see right now, I film a YouTube video. And honestly, I feel like that's the only hobby that I truly have. Growing up, I feel like I never really had any hobbies I was in love with. And honestly, I don't know. I feel like I was always weird for like not having a hobby. And I always thought, to myself like why don't I have something that I love to do and it wasn't until I started creating YouTube videos on an old channel of mine that I used to have which was a littlest pet shop channel I think I started that maybe like when I was in elementary school to be honest you know when I started my YouTube channel I was like wow I found something that I absolutely love to do and creating content uploading it for people it just is what I have a passion for I would start filming videos like in middle school and then I would get insecure about people from school seeing them so then I would stop and then I got back on 
on to and then I didn't feel as inspired. Once I hit sort of my junior year of high school, I was like, you know what? Screw what other people think. I'm just going to do what I love and that is YouTube. Anywho, now I've got the golden on. Obviously right now, like the letters are going all over the place because it's not on a flat surface, but this is what it looks like. Now I am going to go back and forth between the bigger beads and the smaller beads. And for this, it looks like in the picture, he has 12 on either side. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Like if it fits his neck, it should fit mine. So yes, we're just going to thread that through and go back and forth between the bigger ones and the small pearl beads that we already used on golden. Okay, so the next question that I see on the thing that I would like to answer is, would you say you're more of an extrovert or introvert? To be honest, I feel like back then I was definitely straight up introverted as hell because I was just super shy and nervous around new people. And I would get just so anxious trying to make new friends. And I don't know what it was. I would definitely be the quiet one. But nowadays, especially through working my first job, which was at Tilly's, which was a retail job, I definitely gained the confidence and skills to talk to people that I've never met before. And I'm honestly so grateful for having a job for that reason because I got to branch out of my shell and I would consider myself an extrovert, but I do love to be by myself. Like I love to be a homebody and do things myself. But if I have to talk to people, if I have to do like presentations in front of my classmates nowadays, I like don't get as nervous. I have that screw up mentality where it's like, you know what, what am I gonna lose if I'm talking in front of my classmate? The next one I see that I wanna answer is, are you into podcasts or do you only listen to music? Definitely, I love podcasts. If you guys could tell from my recent what is on my blanks, on Spotify I have multiple podcasts that I listen to. I'll name drop a couple just so you guys get an idea of like what I'm into. I love Unsolicited Advice by Ashley and Tara and I feel like they're such a great dynamic duo. I also love Pretty Basic, which is funny because Ashley and Alicia are sisters. I love just YouTubers being more open about their lives and stuff like that. I also like Color Daddy. Definitely more of a comedy podcast. If I'm like a feeling down, I'll listen to that. And then some podcasts that I've lately been getting into would definitely have to be Wild Till Nine by Laura DIY and her boyfriend. And then another one I was listening to is We Bought a House by Claudia Saluski and Phineas, I think. So those are just some podcasts I've been into lately. And I I definitely listen to that a lot more on my free time than music. I think, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Are you joking? Of course this happened to me. I was trying to fix my hair. We're just going to have to re-thread these letters in. I only have N on there. Okay, just took a second to re-thread all the letters in and we're looking good. Okay, the next question I want to answer from the forum of questions that I'm looking at is, in the summer, would you rather go to the beach or go camping? Definitely the beach. I don't know what it is, but you know, camping and 100 degree weather especially if i was to go camping in california that is just not the move feeling all sticky and then with the beach you have the water there so you can instantly just refresh if you need to what's one thing that can instantly make your day better is the next question i'm going to answer and that would definitely have to be food if i'm ever in a bad mood just a yummy plate of food that's all i need to be happy ask anyone in my life i get super hangry and it's not a pretty sight <laughs> now we've got half of my necklace done. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. It's looking so cute, you guys. I'm so excited to just wear it and put it on, show you guys the final outcome. The next question I'm going to be answering from my list of questions is going to be how do you take your coffee? I honestly was never really a coffee person. Still, honestly, am not. If I do drink coffee and I need that extra kick of caffeine, I will typically drink it iced. I cannot do hot coffee. Hot coffee is absolutely disgusting to me. And then another part of it would just probably be like with a lot of sweetener. Because the only iced coffee I really drink is this one from Dutch Bros, which is the cinnamon roll iced mocha and it's super sweet, super yummy. And it's the only way that I've drinking my coffee lately. The next question is a bit of a weird one, but it just is on this list of questions. And I was like, you know what? Why not? It's, do you sleep with a top sheet? I do sleep with a top sheet. I could just sleep with a blanket, but honestly, I have the full sheet set on my bed. And it's what makes it the most comfortable. I mean, I feel like it does get kind of all over the place in the morning. And then I have to fix it, but it's comfortable. And it's nice knowing I have that extra layer between me and my comforter. Okay, the next question I want to answer from this is, what's your favorite thing about your current job? I do not have like a standstill job right now. I work for DoorDash and it's honestly just because I love to work on my own schedule and that's probably the thing that I love the most about it. I love being able to work on my own schedule and have, for example, like my weekends free in case I need to do something with my family or want to hang out with my boyfriend or something like that. It just is so convenient in that sense. Another question I saw from the list of questions that I want to answer is what do you regret not doing in the last year? What I regret not doing is putting my all into this YouTube channel. I feel like if I did, 
it was super consistent as I have been for the last couple of months since April. I've been consistent every single week. I feel like if I did that starting last year, I feel like I would have been so much farther in my YouTube channel and like career. But you know what? Things take time. Nowadays, I'm definitely putting my all into it and doing quality over quantity when it comes to videos. So with ending off that question, I think I finished off my necklace, at least the beading part of it. So this is what it looks like. Let me like measure it around myself just to see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just tie it here. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I tied it enough to be tight. Once I have that tied around a good like 10 times, I'm gonna cut off the excess. So I just left around that much of elastic. There we have the golden necklace toker thing. Oh my God, you guys, look, this looks so cute with all the pearls. Now that we're done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a close up of what this looks like on my neck. I feel like we came out with a pretty successful outcome and a super similar dupe to the necklace Harry Styles is wearing in his music video, all for under the price of 15 buckaroos, which is insane. And I know for sure that you guys could also make this at home. I'm super happy with how it came out and I will definitely be wearing this a lot in the future. If you guys enjoyed this week's video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. I post every single Friday at 12 p.m. So click that bell notification in case you wanna get a reminder on exactly when I'm posting a new video. Also follow my social medias down below because I will definitely be posting a picture in this lovely necklace of mine. Remember, all of the products will be linked down below in case you want to recreate this necklace for yourself. I love you all to the moon and back and I can't wait to see you guys in next week's video. Bye cuties!